<clears throat> much like everyone else, I think I was, uh, I was complaining about too much taxes being taken out of my check. It was just like, damn, the government's always eating away at my check, eating away at my check. And that was my thinking for so long until I just decided to go to YouTube University where everyone, <laughs> where everyone like decides to go and research information because it really is like a network full of information. Mm -hmm. How accurate it is, you know, but I mean, you, that's why you have to pick and choose who you wanna, who you wanna take at face value. So I came across, <clears throat> I came across your page, nice. your, your YouTube channel. Um, I just typed in how to properly fill out a W-4 form. And um, after I did that, I corrected my corrections because I think I was just filing zero for everything. Everything was just plainly zero. Go ahead, government, take as much as you want out of my check. Meanwhile, I'm living check to check, struggling, trying to maintain, trying to get the bills together. And it's like with the average mindset, it's I can't wait until tax season. Once tax season hit is lit, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this and do that and do that. But it was just in my head, it was more so, what if I had that money throughout the year? You know what I mean? And yeah. and I think the the mis the misconception with a lot of people is um they don't know that that piece of paper tells the IRS how much taxes. Well, it tells your employer how much money to take out of your to take out of your check. Right. So it's just like why voluntarily be broke. That's the, way right. I, that's the way I looked at it. You know what I mean? It's your Did way. HR help you or no. guide you through this process? <clears throat> no. H HR, I don't think, is allowed to. I, I was always they're told. They're actually not. They're not, right? I, I was always told. They're like, listen, I can't help you fill this out. Like, are you single? Like, they, like they'll just ask you questions like that. Are you single? Are you, do you have a dependent? All right, if you're single, just put zero. There. Like, they can't really guide you on how to fill it out. And the fact that that, is, that isn't even taught, well, on my side of town, that wasn't taught in school. Right. So here I am applying for a job, and then the, one of the most important things is the tax side of things, and I don't even know how to fill it out. Right. And I'm filling it out, and here I am complaining that the government is taking too much money. So now I'm just like, fill it out correctly. Find out what this form does, how it operates, and fill it out correctly. So once I, once I filled it out correctly, um, I started to see like a positive cash flow of like 80 bucks. A week? A week. Wow. Yeah. And how much did that work out to like monthly? Monthly, what were we looking at? Uh, buck 60 every two. And then, what's that, like 320? Yeah. I want to say. Three, yeah. <clears throat> roughly, roughly like 320 extra a month. So with that, it was just like, all right, I have extra money. That's not extra money to play with. That's extra money to allocate. That's a lot of extra money. $320. That's <clears throat> like a car note. Yeah. But that's how much money I was losing by having uh, a W-4 form filled out incorrectly. Now, did you actually still get a refund? Yeah, still got a refund. Wow. Because I, 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 I met it down the middle. Like, I didn't want to play it too close with, um, with the state. But with federal, I upped what I was um, claiming. So I think right now I'm just claiming one for myself. And I think at the end of the year, I don't know if that's correct or not, but at the end of the year, I claim my mother because I do take care of my mom as well. So, nice. so on the form, it's just one for me. But when I file at the end of the year, it's going to be two because I claim my mom. Right. So I think now, if you would have put two on your W four, you would have got more weekly and mm -hmm. still got a refund. Which and and but see that's the thing and that and I I share that information with people that are smart about it yeah. because if you play with that number you end up underpaying there's penalties you owe right you know what i mean and then red flags are sent so it's like all right yeah we want more of our money but you have to play it smart before filing that straight tax did you know you were able to claim your mother um yes okay i did okay I did. that's fine i, I have been cla i've been claiming her for i think maybe about the past three to five years Oh, okay. That's yeah, cool. I'm, I'm just the breadwinner in our in our situation. But just going, but just going back on to straight tax. So when I found you on um, YouTube, I was just inclined to learn more because I was already interested in the the tax side of things. Like once you realize how important taxes are and like the factor that it plays in this world, you tend to want to know a little bit more about it. You don't want to be oblivious to it like everyone else is. So right. I I go to your uh, your IG page just to see if there are any more gems that you're dropping in videos. And then um, 
from there, I started to see who you were following and who was following you. And then I started seeing so many different, like your network was crazy and essentially it led me to you. <laughs> I mean, long story short, because, you know, I followed a, a local connection, well, a, a mutual connection, Matt G. You know what I mean? I went to his generational wealth seminar with one of my business partners, Kinesia. And um, we met all of those people that we now follow on social media every day. They're always dropping information. They're like, it's like just through you alone, it's like set so much. And you didn't even know it. That's the crazy part. You didn't yeah. even know it until now. Like you set so much of like a, a direction mm. for, wow. me, for me and my team that I have behind me. You know what I mean? So like, and now I came, I filed taxes with you. I, I'm not too sure what led me over. I think it was because I moved to this side of town. So I think it just made sense. Right, right, right. To just file with you. And then... How was your experience filing here with us? It was, it was, it was good, actually. The, uh, the staff was welcoming, you know. Do you feel like you received more information than filing anywhere else? Yes. Definitely. Do you feel like you were explained thoroughly what your tax situation was yeah they well here's the thing without them even knowing what i already knew she went through like a detailed like breakdown a breakdown of like how like what i'm looking at she was explaining you know certain words that i didn't comprehend that's normally on like the the tax preparation paperwork and things mm -hmm. of that sort so i was like i mean not only am i coming here and i'm filing my taxes you guys offered a referral and I brought my little cousin with me to file his taxes as well. Nice. And then on top of that, I learned, I learned things that I didn't already know. Right. You know right, what right. I mean? So it was just like, I was like, oh, this place isn't bad. I'll definitely be coming back <laughs> next year to file my taxes and I'll probably bring some more people with me. Nice. So, but then I also remember if, when I was following, not when I was following you, but when you had put up a post about helping people become tax prepared, Professional. prof professionals, preparers. So, so I, I was like, you know what? Why not get this under under the wing? Why not add this as another notch in the belt? And mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like it's another skill set. Like if you know this stuff, it can make you money. Right. You know what I mean? It's a specialized skill set. You know things. You research. You've done. You've done everything you need to do, and now you've turned it into monetary value mm -hmm. people come to you to file their taxes because you know how to file taxes you know what i mean right so but yeah that's what i mean yeah that's awesome i'm glad to hear 